to focus today for our time together because it's the full moon. We're gonna focus on balance. It's also a time to focus on alignment and acceptance. So we're gonna start with the feet hip width distance. And often, like when we hear the word balance, especially in a yoga class, we think, okay, I'm gonna stand on one leg a lot. Well, you, we will, but we're also going to balance the hard and the soft of our practice, and we're going to balance our breath, and we're going to just keep our minds in a nice, calm, balanced mode. So the feet are hip width distance apart, and let's just smooth out the breath. So balancing inhales and exhales as the breath starts to smooth. Noticing the feet super grounded, all four corners of the feet, and maybe just moving around a little bit to make sure you're uh, feeling all four corners equally, pressing into the mat. All right, and a nice exhale here. So we're going to deepen now, and our bodies are completely straight standing up, so the breath can move super freely through the body. So nice deep exhale, belly button to spine, and then big inhale, fill your whole body with breath and exhale, release. Let's do that again, inhale deep. Notice the breath as it goes all the way to the tips of your fingers, the tips of your toes, the crown of your head, your whole body is full and release. And just do that one more time. Notice where the breath can travel to. Good, and release. All right, bringing in our aforementioned pose of the month for July. We're gonna turn the palms out. We're going to inhale joy, draw the arms up, taking care to keep the shoulders away from the ears, and then turn your palms toward the earth and exhale anything that is not serving you right now, AKA BS, right? And just do that a few more times. Don't worry the number of times you do it. We're just gonna do this for about a minute. And if you wind up doing one in the minute or three, doesn't matter. As long as it takes you to inhale joy, and exhale, BS. And then finish up on your exhale whenever you get there, coming back to your mountain pose and checking back in with the feet, inhaling and exhaling. So now we're gonna balance the spine in its six different directions. Let your knees and hips be soft. Bring your hands to your thighs, and then arch your back and shine your heart up, cow, and then round and gaze towards your lap for cat, arch and look up, and round and gaze towards your lap. Cats and cows here start to feel the shoulders also, what's happening in the body. Balancing forward and back with the spine. And then the next time you're gazing towards your left, just hold here, roll your hands up your legs, shoulders back and down. Come back to equal standing here, okay? All right, so we're going to now move the spine side to side. So the feet stay grounded here. Inhale the arms up, shoulders away from ears. Even if that means bending the elbows, that's fine. Turn your palms up toward the sky. Inhale, keeping the right foot grounded and the shoulders stacked, tilt to the right and uh, to the left and gaze up to the right. And come center and tilt to the right and gaze up to the left. And come center. 
We're going back over to the left, staying grounded. This right foot is staying just as grounded as the left. And come up and tilting to the right, taking the gaze up to the left. And come up and then tilting back over to the left. And up and to the right, gaze up toward the left and up. Okay, now we're going to release the arms down by the side. Take the feet wider than hip width distance, okay, with the toes slightly turned out, knees and hips are soft, and we're going to just gently take the body side to side. And the hands are, if you notice, like they're touching the body at the back, around where the kidneys are, and this is called knocking on the door of life. So we're waking up our life force here. And then start to take the hands up. And they're going to come right under the uh, clavicle here. And knocking there. And that builds immunity. So that's a little immunity center. Yeah, and then let your arms start to come out a little more to the side and just breathe, easy breezy, side to side, arms overhead, arms back down, tapping right under the collarbone there. And then back to knocking on the door of life. And then come back to center and reposition your feet. Come back to finding mountain pose here. Inhale and exhale. And notice where you feel any kind of tingling or energy starting to happen. Just scan your body. Notice for yourself. Okay. All right. So we're going to open up the shoulders a bit here. So go ahead, pick up your strap. This could be an elastic, you know, resistance band or a yoga strap. Let the strap rest on your thumbs with your arms shoulder width distance apart. Gently hold on to the strap as you take your arms up. The arms are going to widen enough so that you can get your arms behind you without bending your elbows and then come back up and around. And you may have to adjust a couple of times we don't want to jump rope here. We don't want to be doing this. We don't want super tight like that. So just adjust to where you're feeling a lovely shoulder opening as you come back. And then up and over. Oh, yeah. Up and over. And the next time your arms are overhead, keep them here. Take your right arm by your right ear, your left hand's down by your side, and you're gonna press back through the left hand, get a little more opening in the front of that left shoulder, come back overhead, left uh, arm to left ear, same thing, pressing back a little bit with the right. Good, and come center, and go ahead and put the Strap down, shake it out. All right, inhale and exhale. So we're going to start a little bit of balance now. So let's make sure the feet are hip width distance apart. We know we want a firm foundation. Okay, we want a steady gaze looking at something that isn't moving. And we want the breath to be calm. Inhale, float the arms up. Palms touch, as your hands come to heart center, raise your right heel, bring it down. Inhale the arms up, left heel, bring it down. Inhale the arms up, possibly double heel. If your ankles start to wobble, then just keep going, alternating right and left. Inhale the arms up, right heel or right knee. Inhale arms up, left heel or left knee. Inhale the arms up if you're doing double heel. Otherwise, you're going right and left. So heel or knee, 
Heel or knee. Double if you're doing it. Right, left, right, left, or right, left, double. And see if one side seems to be cooperating a little better than the other this morning, just take note of it. Inhale and exhale. After you finish either your left side or your double heel, come back to standing and just breathe. We're going to revisit this, but for now, a little later in our practice, for now, if you had one side that was a little trickier, so for me, like this side felt a little less stable, I'm gonna go four times lifting my other knee. Does that make sense? You know what I'm talking about. The side that, if you didn't have a side that felt trickier, then just alternate. Four times, up, release, up, release. And when you're done with that, come back to mountain pose. Okay, did that make sense? That made sense. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna come to the top of the mat here and do a little bit of chair because we need a firm foundation so we want those legs to be super strong but you're at the top of your mat, knees and hips bend, slight tuck under of the pelvis here, arms up to shoulder height and let's warm up this chair. Stand straight up, arms overhead, and then folding from the hip creases, exhale down, knees and hips bend, fingertips might graze the mat, come back into chair. Okay, so it's up, stand tall, take it down, knees and hips bend, back into chair. We're Just think about it, we're warming it up, right? Up, down, Eventually landing in chair. Now from your final chair here, keeping everything nice and long, bring your hands down and step back to downward facing dog. We're gonna find a four point balance in down dog. Okay, so distributing the weight evenly between two hands and two feet. And then bend one knee and then the other walk the dog. Everybody good? Remember, you can always be in table. You can put your hands on the wall and do dog at the wall. Come back to center here, and we're going to bring the knees to the mat, try and get them to the mat at the same exact time. There we go, inhale and exhale. Now just come up, shake out your hands. If you uh, need some extra padding for your knee, take a moment, grab it, because we're going to be on hands and knees for a moment, okay? If you need some lift for the heel of your hands so that your wrists aren't so much at a right angle, take a moment and take care of that too. Are we good to go? We're going to work in table. You can do this at the wall, same thing, okay? All right, in table, we're going to be working our core first. So let's uh, start out by getting a little stretch in the right foot and right calf. Right leg back, toes tuck, press through the heel, roll over the foot. Yeah. Good, and then press that right heel back and hold. And bring the knee down. And do that on the left, left leg back. Toes are tucked, press and roll. Wake that foot up, get that ankle moving. So important for balance. Press back through the left heel and hold. Excellent, and bring the knee down. Now come on up to your knees for a second, shake those wrists out, and then come back to table. Four points of balance here. Two hands and two feet, weight is evenly distributed. That right leg comes back with the toes tucked. The hips are exactly facing the mat. The left arm is forward and long. Here comes the core. 
Raise your right leg and your left arm. Tap down. Right leg, left arm. Tap down. Yep. Remember, you can always do this at a wall or on a chair, you know, with your hand on a chair. One more, take it up and hold. Good, and bring it down. If you're ready to switch to the other side, left leg back, toes are tucked. Right arm is forward and long, left leg lifts, right arm lifts. Keeping everything steady, the hips constantly facing the um, earth like as though they were headlights. The hip is not lifting. Excellent. One more. Good. And release. All right. Come and sit off to the side and take your legs forward. We'll return to table in a little bit. Right now, we're going to sit with the legs forward. And in honor of that beautiful uh, full moon, we're going to make some circles. So go ahead and if your legs are okay crossed, let your legs cross. If they prefer to be straight, you can do this straight. Your hands are to your knees, your spine is nice and long. We fold forward from the hip creases with a long spine and take the body to the right, back to the left and forward. Find your circles. And the next time you're forward, just hold here. And then we're going to take the body circles the other direction to the left, back, to the right, and forward. Keep the spine long. Keep that forward fold from the hips, from your hip creases. So we're not doing this, basically. All right, and then come up to seated. Inhale and exhale. Great. So let's go ahead and um, we just did core work on all fours, right? We're going to do standing obliques uh, um, later in our practice. So we're going to, I uh, think we'll do a little bit of hip release to start out with, with some dead bug here. So take it down, arms up, you guys. All no dead bug, you can keep both feet down, extend the right leg, left arm back, extend the left leg, right arm back. You can have both knees up, extend the right leg, left arm back, extend the left leg, right arm back. And take either one of those and just go forward and back. And especially if you have your knees up, you might be thinking, wait a minute, she said this was hip, but I'm feeling my core. Oh yeah, we're doing that too. But it's also, as you can tell, releasing the hips. It's just that the core is keeping the body stable like it needs to most of the time. All right, we started with the right leg, left arm. Next time you do left leg, right arm, just hug your knees in. Maybe hold on to the hamstrings and rock a little from side to side. Inhale and exhale. All right, so we're going to um, bring both feet down and just take this to a little um, bent knee hip release, a little more for the hips here. So take your right knee only to tabletop, flex your right foot, and then draw your heel down and up, down and up. So we're getting a nice range of motion in the right hip, forward and back, down and up. Hard to move the hip without engaging the cord, is right? There you go. All right, let's bring it in. Hold on to your right hamstring and let the leg come out to the side and back to center. Okay, so this is opening out to the side and coming back opening the hip in a different direction. Whew. 
bring the right foot down, left knee up, left foot flexes, heel taps down, knee up, tap down, knee up. Nice, down and up. And the next time the left knee is in, hold it in and let it open to the side and come back. Yeah, open and back and three and two. Now bring your left foot down, the feet are hip width distance and just let those knees open and close. Little butterfly wings here, nice, good. And then make your way back to tabletop. So we're going to come back to tabletop here. Wake up the arms and find child's pose afterwards. So the knees are under the hips. Remember, you could be at a wall also. You could have your hands on a, a higher surface of any sort. A countertop, a bed, a chair. Walk your hands forward. Um, and then come into a knee down plank. So that's how far forward your hands need to be so that you can be a knee down plank. And then bend the elbows down, up, hips back. So it's plank, push up, and back. Yeah, plank, push up, and back. We wanna feel the triceps in the push up. And then find your way to child's pose. Make sure your head is supported. Do not have your head dangling in space. You can slide a block underneath your forehead. You can uh, make a pillow with your hands or your forehead might touch the mat all on its own. Come into a comfortable child's pose. And breathe. And notice if there's any balance in your child's pose, like what's happening? Do you feel yourself more forward than back or more back than forward? Or is balance just the ability to just stay here and be calm for a moment? And then find your way to downward facing dog. Coming back to four points of balance and down dog. Two hands and two feet. Remembering the options for down dog. Inhale and exhale. We're gonna take this now from a four point balance to a three point balance. So just raise your right leg and make some circles in one direction. Maybe make them a little larger. See if you can do that without throwing yourself off balance, hold the right leg up, and then take your circles the opposite direction, and a little larger, and bring the right foot down, bring your knees down, press back for a moment just to release, float back up into down dog, left leg up, small circles, one direction, and a little larger. Good. Pause and then go the opposite direction. Small. And a little larger. All right. And then start to walk your feet toward the mat, making them wider as you come up so that they come up mat with distance apart when you get to the top of your mat or get to your hands bring your forearms to your thighs and then just stand straight up bring your arms overhead inhale and exhale all right shake it out how's everybody doing okay we're gonna do um what have we what, what do we still need to do lots okay come to the top of the mat Inhale and exhale. We're going to do a simple sun salutation here. Float the arms up. Inhale. Swan dive from the hip creases. Melt forward. We don't care how far down the hands go. Hands to the thighs. Heart shines forward. 
Spine stays long, hands down, right leg back into lunge. And wiggle around if that feels great. And then come into plank, knees up or knees down. Find balance in your plank. How many points are touching the uh, mat here? Two if your knees are up, it could be six if your knees are down. Good, now chaturanga all the way down, yes. Okay, so we're going to have the hands, slide them back more by the ribs today, shoulders toward the ears down the spine, and then shine the heart forward, lifting into cobra, using the hands a little bit to deepen and release. Find your way to downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale and exhale. And journey to your hands. It could either be just stepping forward. It could be hopping forward. It could be that wide leg. When you get to the top of your mat, hands to the thighs, half lift. Forward fold and float the arms out and up, palms touch. Yes, and hands come heart center. Inhale and exhale. All right, top of the mat. We're going to do that one more time, starting with the left foot. Inhale, arms up. There you go. Exhale, swan dive. Taking a half lift. Forward fold, hands down. Stepping back with the left leg. Hang out in the lunge. Okay? Okay, if you're starting to get a little worn, just come to the wall, put your hands on the wall, wiggle around, or do some just hip release. All right, you guys, plank. Find all balance. Remember, plank, this is a plank too. Here's a chaturanga at the wall. Okay, everybody, chaturanga. And then come all the way down. And we're going to take the hands by the rib cage again, lift the heart for cobra. Yes. And then find your way back and up to downward facing dog. Nice. Inhale and exhale. Journey your feet to your hands. When you get to your hands, whether your feet are head, hip lift, wide, half lift, Forward fold, flip the arms out and up, palms touch, and hands come heart center, and release. Okay, so let's find mountain pose again, and see how that's feeling now. Bring your feet under you, feel the energy flowing through, inhaling and exhale. All right. So we're going to do some standing obliques and then we're going to come uh, back into a balancing. So take your legs wide, turn your toes out. Here we're plieing. We're going to plie. Knees are going over the toes. Hands behind the neck here. Bend the knees. Right elbow to the right. And up. Now long arms. And up. Keep the knees bent, left elbow to the left, and up, long arms, and up, straighten the legs. We're going to combine the knee bend with the uh, moving to the side. As you bend your knees, right elbow, straighten the legs, come up. Bend the knees, long arms, straighten the legs, come up. Bend the knees, left, and up. Long arms to the left and up to the right. Elbow up, arms up to the left. Elbow up, arms up. Take it to the right. Hold here. We're going to open the arms, close them. Open the arms, bring them back behind the head. Open, together, open, hands behind the head, lift up. 
All right. If you've met me, you know that's kind of our grand finale. We're going to go to the left and we'll be done. Here we go. To the left. Open. Back. Open. Back. Open. Back. Open. Back. Come up. Stand up. Woo, just shake everything out. Inhale and exhale. Draw your legs together. All right. Anybody feeling energy tingling anywhere? Moving? Breath? Everything good? Uh-huh. All right. So remember that uh, movement we did earlier, which was arms overhead, knee lift. We're going to go back into that and take it a little farther this time. Now that doesn't mean you have to go there, we're just going to add some options. You could also be standing with a light touch on a wall, a chair, a table, in which case you would go single arm. Okay, so here we go. Feet are hip width distance. Let's try and smooth out the breath for a moment. Inhale and exhale, find a spot that isn't moving. All four corners of the feet grounded. Arms up, palms touch, knee up. If you were doing ankle last time, try knee. If that doesn't work, go back to ankle. Release, let's try it on the other side. Arms up, heel or knee on the left, and release. All right, now we're gonna move it a little more. Arms up, knee to the right, heel or knee. Now just take your right knee open, whoo, center, and down. I told you we were gonna add on, right? Arms overhead, left side up, out, center, and down. So you can just stick with up, you can stick with just coming to the side, or you can take the final option, right knee up, and as you take it out to the side, open your arms, come back center, and release. Left knee up, open arms, center, and release. And just play with that a little on each side. Two times each side, whatever version you want to do. Notice where your balance is challenged. And after your second round, just come back to equal standing and breathe. All right. Now, once again, if you have a side that was more challenged than the other, go ahead and do two balances on your more challenged side, okay? If your sides were even, do one right and one left, okay? And you can do whatever you want here. You could just hold the knee up, you could take it out to the side, you could open the arms. You know all the variations. Yeah. And when you finish working your more challenged side, just come back to mountain pose and breathe. Mm. Excellent. All right. When you finish, you finish. Okay. So um, we're going to cool things down now, right? Remember, we're balancing the hard and the soft. So far, this has been... Uh, quite a vigorous practice. So let's move into a little more slow moving. We're going to take the legs wide and find warrior two. So the toes, right toes are facing right, left toes are in at an angle. Right knee is over the right ankle and tracking right through the center of the toe. Shoulders over hips, arms in line with the shoulders. Oh, beautiful arms, everybody. Go ahead and take your gaze past your right fingertips. Now, warrior two is a balance pose in and of itself. See if you can feel where you are in space here. Are your shoulders over your hips? Are you leaning forward? Are your arms equal? Is there equal effort coming 
from the feet here and just relax into it. moment of stillness also helps to balance the mind. We're going to turn all ten toes forward, bring the hands to heart center here. Inhale and exhale. And then open up to the left. Left toes to the left. Left knee is over the ankle, tracking through the center of the foot. Right leg super strong and grounded. Arms out, gazing calmly past the left fingertips looking for the balance in warrior two, right? Equal effort through the arms, through the legs, steady gaze. And then bring your hands in front of your heart, turn your gaze forward. Now from here, you can either just take a big step to the top of your mat if you're in position to do that. You can heel toe your feet together, okay? And then come to the top of your mat. So we're gonna meet at the top of the mat, inhale and exhale. If you have something that you want nearby for um, our, you know, finishing poses on the on the mat, go ahead and grab that. It could be a bolster for under your knees. It could be an eye pillow. It could be a furry friend being near you. And then come to the top of your mat and just check things out. See if the body's asking to move, release in any kind of way. And then find your way back to mountain pose and check your alignment. Are you feeling all four corners of your feet? Do you feel like you're a little rocked forward or back or are you just standing nice and tall, spine long? Let the breath smooth out. And then inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, folding from the hip creases, swan dive. We want the hands to come to the mat, so the knees and hips are gonna bend to accomplish that. Some people might be here. Other people might have the knees and hips bent. And then find your way to down dog. Step the legs back. Find four points of balance in your down dog. Remember, that can also be a table. And then go ahead and let your hips move around side to side. Think about releasing, releasing. Good. Bring everything back to center and see about getting the knees to the mat at the exact same time. Knees to the mat. Yeah. And then sit off to the side side and find seated mountain pose. The legs are straight, the feet are flexed, and there's balance here too. Feel your sit bones. We want equal effort from the sit bones so we're not like hanging off to the side, we're not slumped forward or lean back. We are in mountain pose here. Inhale and exhale. All right. Let's go ahead and bend the knees and find our way down to the earth. Spine is nice and long. Just let it relax on the earth. Inhale and exhale. Okay, we're going to move into Ardha Apanasana and then full Apanasana. Okay, so let's um, start with keeping the left leg bent. Extend the right leg, both arms overhead, and then bring the right knee in, hold on to the right hamstring. Half wind removing pose here. Inhale and exhale. Nice little release for the hip. Bring the right foot down, 
Extend the left leg long, arms overhead. Draw the left leg in, hold on to the hamstring. Just send some nice, kind, warm, healing breath to the left hip as it releases. Bring the left foot down, extend both legs, draw both knees in, hold on to the hamstrings. Inhale and exhale. Yes. All right, so we're going to extend the legs. You're welcome to work it from uh, the feet down position that we just did, keeping the left knee bent or extend both legs and both arms, and then draw the right leg in, keeping the left leg long. So whichever version works best for you right now today, that's what you're gonna do. Now inhale, extend the right leg, two arms overhead, exhale, draw the left knee in, Hold on, that right knee could be bent or the right leg could be straight. Inhale, both legs long. Exhale, draw both knees in. Hold on. We're holding on to your hamstrings here. And then go ahead and rock side to side. Release the spine. Do whatever feels good. And come back to center so we can work the ankles. Point and flex the feet. Strong point, strong flex. Strong point, strong flex. One more and flex. Circle the ankles one direction and the other. Gratitude to the ankles and the feet for what they do for us all day long. Go ahead and Bring your feet to the mat. Bring your hands by your side, at least six inches away from your hips. If you love having your legs straight here, you can straighten them. Otherwise, just keep your knees bent. Open and close the fingers. Wiggle them. Gratitude to the hands. And rotate the wrists one direction and the other. Hands back down by your side and just let your head move side to side, releasing any final kinks that might be in the neck or just looking for any stuck spaces. Coming back to center and take a moment to scan your body Realign, wiggle around, whatever needs to happen. Knees bent, legs straight, whatever needs to happen so that you can find a very comfortable final relaxation position. Inhale through the nose. And just one time today, exhale through the mouth. Allow your body to melt onto the earth. Let the earth support you and just be in your final relaxation. Begin to bring your awareness back to your space. Invite a deeper breath. 
Gently bring movement back to the body. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. And on your next inhale, stretch the arms long overhead, stretch the legs. Exhaling, draw your knees in, give yourself a nice hug. Find your way over to a side. And coming into a nice easy seat. As you turn your gaze to your own good heart and your bright spirit, thank and honor yourself for your practice, and we thank and honor each other for sharing this time. Namaste.